Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. I'm Lucas. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today, we're up at the pond because we're going to clean up some brush piles. Now, we are in the early stages of planning a cabin build up here at the pond. Really looking forward to having a cabin up here where we can camp and, and do all that. So I'm going to build me an outhouse and all that good stuff so we have this nice little campsite up here. But we're doing the early planning. So if you have some suggestions and things that you want us to remember and try to incorporate into our build, leave those down in the comments below. Give us some ideas. That way we can think of all the best ideas and incorporate those into our build. But what we've got to do first, you know, I talked to you about some of the cleanup work that I did not have my excavators do on this project. And that meant that we were left with big old brush piles just pushed off to the side and all that, which is kind of a mess because now I've got to figure out a way to get rid of that because it doesn't look good. That's what we're gonna get started on tonight. Somebody will ask where are you hauling it to? Well, we have 
Shoo. It listen. That's a big one. I don't think we're gonna carry that one over there. I think we're gonna push that one over there. Dave's equipment been trying to talk me into a set of R14s for this thing. One of these days, I'm gonna have to break down and do it. These are getting a little worn, and I'm always dealing with mud. All right, guys, major progress tonight. We got a whole lot of this cleaned up. I didn't get completely finished, but we'll call it a day because, well, we're just about out of fuel. And really, we got, pretty much got the brush piles taken care of all right now for the bad news i think i may have broke the diff lock on my tractor um and i don't know i don't have any idea when it happened i didn't feel anything i didn't hear anything but when i needed it it didn't work i can press the pedal and it goes all the way into the down position with no resistance which is not normal you usually have to kind of work it back and forth, steer a little bit and kind of move to get it to slide into place. And I've got nothing. So, I'm gonna have to call up old Davis Equipment and talk to them about what I need to do. Gotta have it, not to mention, if it sheared that pan off, then we don't want that metal floating around in the gearbox. So, it is what it is. I mean, I use the thing hard. We get a lot out of it. Things are gonna happen. So. Stay tuned. So I got another stump up there and some trees that are down to take out. But as far as the brush piles in this general area, pretty well got all that cleaned up. We got one more brush pile over there I wanna get rid of, and then we'll cut out some stumps. Drag that big stump out, cut those down trees out of there. And then we're gonna start figuring out where we wanna put our cabin. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day.